this is, I get you could find this a bit of an ironic perspective. I think that Islam is a, a, a kind of ennobling religion. And, and I, I mean that rather seriously. It is a warrior cult, uh, much unlike Christianity. And it, in a way, makes these Arabs and, and Africans and, and Turks, in, in a way, kind of better than they are. It makes them into kind of supermen types. Uh, whereas they otherwise would be, you know, about smoking hookah in the desert. And it gives them a fighting spirit. Now, that, from our perspective, that's not good. <laughs> we should maybe want to convert them to uh, postmodernism or uh, Christianity, perhaps. But from their perspective, it, it in a way makes them more dangerous. It, it's a black flag that can be raised against the West. Yeah. And uh, a statement to make. Yeah, so that's kind of my take on Islam. But if you read me a passage from Islam that's badass or something, I'm not really going to counter signal it. <laughs> right. <it's> like, <laughs> it, it goes again to speaking what we said before about uh, appreciating the arsenal that your enemy is equipped with. And yeah. Islam was basically born out of violence. It was born out of this kind of warrior tribal um, type of people where Christianity, it's, it's the complete opposite. It's all peace. It's all, you know, turn the other cheek. And th there's some amazing things to be said for Christianity. If I had to pick or choose between the two, trust me, guys, I'm going with Christianity. Don't get it twisted. However, um, I can't help but admire that, you know, warrior nature to Islam. And they have right. kind of built um, a more masculine alpha type of, uh, of youth through that. If you challenge a Muslim whether it's in school, whether it's in on you know the work site or out on the street, if you challenge him about his beliefs, he is going to get very adamant. He's going to defend what he believes in with every fiber in his body. We're Christians, we've lost that. We don't actually well, I'm not Christian, you know, the whole cultural thing, but Christians mm -hmm. do not uh, follow their religion with the same type of zest and the same type of passion that Muslims do. And it doesn't translate into any sort of like um uh, imperial worldview. The Christian is completely passive. He's not on any sort of conquest to Christianize the world, where Muslims right. are very much entrenched in that battle. So not only are they raising um, a, a younger generation that is more true to a masculine type of form, they're outnumbering us, but they're also backed by this religion that in many ways will support um, war, will support violence. And if we had more of a pagan type of religion, in my opinion, whether it's Odinism, whether we're going back to the Greek gods or the Roman gods, just something that allows for a warrior class to emerge without being told, you know, this isn't the Christian way, peace at all costs. That would be great for us. And perhaps, you know, maybe that's what we're missing here is, is some form of spiritual belief or religion that we can actually believe in, not just, oh, I'm culturally this way, but truly believe in something and have it bring us together. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think we're missing a, a, a spiritual backing. And that, that's yeah. something we've kind of uh, talked about a lot. And, you know, when you said, like, what is whiteness? And in many ways, it's beyond a tangible. There's this ineffable um, kind of quality to race. You, it, it's not simply just about genetics. It's not simply just about biology, which, of course, we can study and observe. But there is this aspect to it that kind of um, goes beyond the physical. And when you said that to me, I thought that was, you know, very brave of you sometimes, you know, because you're not a, a Christian, you're not necessarily a true pagan, you're somebody who kind of appreciates the, the various things. So you're going to have people coming at you from various angles, uh, whether it's the diehard Christians or the atheists or whatever. Yeah. So to, to put it in that way, I thought it was very honest, very true. And um, it was very helpful for me as well. Yeah. All right.